Well, hi there. This is one of the biggest philosophical questions of our time. If you stick your finger through the hole in the middle of a bagel, is your finger inside of the bagel or outside of the bagel? I'd love to hear your thoughts regarding this great mystery in the comments. Is your finger inside of the bagel or outside of the bagel? This has plagued philosophers for generations, pretty much since the advent of the bagel. I've talked to many people about this question and there never seems to be a clear consensus. Yes, you are definitely inside of the borders of the bagel, but if you were to penetrate the bread of the bagel with your finger, there is near unanimous consensus that this would be more inside of the bagel than you are when you stick your finger through the existing hole in the bagel. It's quite the conundrum. Okay, new question. If a trained surgeon would be to cut you open, insert a bagel into your body cavity and sew you up, what would happen? You'd probably die. You probably can't survive having a bagel inside of your body. So, now let me ask you this. What do you have in common with a bagel? Let me put it this way. Is there a hole that starts on one side of you and ends on the other, where something like, say, a bagel can pass where it is only arguably inside of you? Now let's talk about how to make a bagel. If you wanted to make a bagel, you would begin with a ball of dough. You would then stick your finger into the dough and push until it comes out of the other side, forming a hole. Well, it turns out that at one point in time, you were just a ball yourself. That ball was called a blastula, and eventually, one side began to poke in. This invagination is called a blastopore, and it continued to poke through until it formed a complete hole all the way through you. This is a complete gut with a mouth at one end and an anus at the other. In some groups, like flatworms, it doesn't quite make it all the way through. Thus, they have a mouth only, but no anus which means that their mouth needs to do double duty. Now I should mention that there are two ways that you can make a mouth and an anus by pushing through a ball of cells. One way is to start at the mouth and end at the anus. The other way is to start at the anus and end at the mouth. Mouth first development is called protostome development. The flatworm is clearly in this group as it only has a mouth. Anus first development is called deuterostome development. I find that people would like to hear that they are protostomes, because hearing that your anus is the far side of your mouth is so much more pleasant than hearing that your mouth is the far side of your anus. But I have bad news. You're a deuterostome. And now you know. I see you there with the far end of your anus hanging open. Don't be so shocked. At least you have an anus. If you learned something today, please like this video. If you'd like to learn more in the future, please subscribe and click the little bell. And we hope to see you real soon.